So I'm here to review Max Braverman's paper in transfusion titled The Regional Whole Blood Program in San Antonio, Texas, a three-year update on pre-hospital and in-hospital transfusion practices for traumatic and non-traumatic hemorrhage. Um, there are two level one trauma centers in San Antonio, the Brook Army Medical Center, uh, where I'm at, and then the University uh, Hospital at the University of Texas Health San Antonio. Um, between these two hospitals, we serve the entire Southwest region of Texas. Um, this area has been pioneering the use of low titer whole blood, both in hospital and pre-hospital since 2018, uh, which is slowly starting to spread within the trauma community um, into other regions. Um, the way our regional whole blood program works is that the donor comes in and donates to the donation center, which then goes to the South Texas Blood and Tissue Center. Uh, fresh blood goes out to the air medical providers, level four trauma centers and ground EMS services day one through 14. Um, if the blood is not used, then it rotates back to the heavier use centers, which include the level one uh, trauma centers. Uh, this ensures the blood is uh, minimally discarded. Um, there's a fair amount of descriptive data here, just kind of discussing some of our uses and some of our experience with it. Um, and, you know, not much inferential uh, data in there, but certainly a very, very good description of how we use the program here. Um, and if you're looking to potentially uh, open a program like this in your area, uh, I would encourage you to look at this as we can give you quite a good template as to how to model your program as we've had a lot of success in this area. Uh, this paper is open uh, access, so I'll post a link uh, or, of course, you're always welcome to message me for the paper.